Hello and welcome to the Studio Closet. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to turn regular HD footage like this into crappy VHS style video like this. I don't know why VHS style video is making such a comeback, but it can turn your video into a retro look popularized by scary movies and amateur skateboard videos. So let's dive in. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is change your aspect ratio. You're going to want to customize your aspect ratio to 4.3, which can be done by setting your resolution to 1440 by 1080. Use whatever frame rate you did on the camera. This can be done by going to your custom settings and manually entering it. If parts of your video are going to be widescreen, however, like this one, you'll need to export your 4.3 videos and then import them into a widescreen project. Now drag your clips into your timeline and resize them by using the transform tool. Another way to do this is to go to spatial conform and click fill. Now drag a Gaussian effect onto your clip and adjust the amount somewhere between 1 and 10. Next, drag an aged film effect onto your clip and change the color adjust to 0. I like to set the grain somewhere between 50 and 100. Next, set the scratches to 0 and move the amount where you feel appropriate. It tends to be more washed out the higher you go. You can play with the rest of the settings, but I generally leave them set to zero. Now drag the bad TV effect onto your clip. And I know this bad TV effect is not realistic like it would be if you actually shot this with a VHS tape, but I mean, no one really remembers what VHS video looks like anymore, and this is the best you're going to do with Final Cut. I set the static type at either Gaussian Noise or TV Static. I keep the amount set below 10, otherwise it just looks a little too fake. However, it does allow you to keyframe higher values on here, so if you want to look like your footage was damaged at a certain point, you can drag it up and drag it back down. I keep the roll set between 1 and 0. I'll go with a 0.4. Next I drag a sharpen effect onto my clip. Now adding this effect after a Gaussian blur can mimic the VHS camcorder effect of over sharpening soft footage. I keep the sharpness set below 20. Finally I open my color board and I increase my global saturation. You can also mess with the exposure and the color for even more added effects. So now I've shown you how to turn your perfectly good HD footage into a crappy VHS style look. Congratulations.